go out that far and they come right up. <laughs> just like Luffy. Hey nerds, today we're unboxing this Eustis Kid figure from SH Figure Arts. Let's get him out of the box. So I'm sure you guys can all see here how damaged this box is. It's all squished and everything. It was actually packaged nicely by the shipper from AliExpress in bubble wrap inside a box, but the whole box was just entirely demolished. So yeah, we're gonna just get this figure out and check him out now. Get this off here. Let's get out of Eustis Kid. Come on. Oh, yeah, all the accessories in this will just fly out. We got this plastic piece right here protecting it. Let's pull this off. Come on. I like that they do this. Keeps it all nice on the inside, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Got that out. And look at this guy. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. I am loving the SH Figure Arts line as far visually. I'm loving this. They all seem to have some type of QC issue, but this, this one looks really nice. Look at this face sculpt. Face plate, if you will. Look at that expression. The glasses, the hair, all of it looks really nice. Look at the details here on his arm. That is awesome. It could be cool if it was a little bit more a shiny metallic look versus kind of a dull gray, but still looks pretty nice. Scar on his face, all the way down. Nice tattoos right there. Yeah, he looks absolutely awesome. So first up on this figure, the cape does actually come off. So let's just take that off real quick and we can uh, run through the articulation on this figure now. Of course, we're going to start with the feet. They point down that far, up that far. We have the ankle rocker in there. Let's see, is there any spinning here? Nope, no spinning there. We have the double jointed knee. Gives you that much bend. Thigh cut. Legs kick forward that far. Go out that far. And they come right up. <laughs> Just like Luffy. Oh my god, really? That? I'm not really excited about that. Jesus. All right, let's see here. Waist. Spins at the waist. Nice crunch there. Let's see, no spin right here at the torso cut, but there is a little bit of crunch. Not a whole lot. It still gets overall pretty decent crunch. Shoulders. Let's check out the shoulder joint here. Kind of remind me of Luffy's. All the way around they go. Out that far. <laughs> look how thin they look. <laughs> That's pretty interesting right there. Let's see. Bicep cut. Oh, he does have a bicep cut on this arm. That's cool. Spins there. We have, what, is that a single set? Yeah, looks like a, oh, there's two joints in there. Moves right there. Double jointed elbow, nice. See the hand does rotate around here. A little bit of movement in there too, that's nice. Independently articulated fingers. Let's check out the thumb here. Let's see, it does bend right there, that's cool. Both spots. And yeah, every finger moves, but it has its own articulation. Only the one joint right here on this knuckle. There's no joint up here. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the other side. See, double jointed elbow, of course. Do that much bend. Yep. And we have the wrist over here. Standard SH Figure Arts wrist. Same shoulder joint. Let's see the neck. The neck doesn't move around. Hmm. Yep, you got some movement right there out of that neck piece. And the head spins all the way around in the face plate. Right off. <laughs> Oops, hit the camera. Let's see, let's pull this off. Oh, wow. That comes off too? Oh, nice. So this is kind of interesting. The head just goes on here like this. Yeah, and that's all you do with the head. Just clips on right there. We take the hair piece right here that came off the back of the hair, basically. We're going to slide it over this, that. And then we take the head, put it back together like this. Let me just pop it back on. See so you get down the rest of it. Come on. <laughs> That's kind of pain in the butt. All right, pop it like that. There we go. And yeah, now it looks right. Pretty cool. But the head <laughs> doesn't spin all the way around without his fucking face plate falling off. And I also want to mention his shoulder joints. They move around in there like that. And they actually slide in up right there. Can you see that? See the way it moves? That one. Moves a little bit better than this side. This one's a little stiff, but it goes up, which is pretty cool. Range of motion there on the shoulders. And I'm sure someone caught it, but I forgot to point out he does have toe joints. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at Kid's cloak here. And I honestly hate these big, chunky plastic cloaks. They're just horrible, but at least this one comes off nice and easy. You can see the peg there. We do have some articulation here, some movement in there. And then we have a uh, double joints right there. So you can see better, better from this side. See the two joints? So you can get this all the way up like that. You can spin it around. Lots of fun things you can do with that if you so desire. So let's put it back on him and see how easy that is to do, right? 
Get the peg hole right there. Line it up. Yeah, there we go. Not too hard. Now, can he stand once he has it on? Because it seems like it weighs a flipping ton. And his legs are a little bit loose. Seems like. Yeah, he doesn't want to stand with that on. That's great. That is absolutely wonderful. Can you stand up? Come on, kid. Boom, did it. Yeah. And kid comes with four extra right hands. Just different shapes on them. Nicely detailed with the painted fingernails. We have this sweaty, snotty faceplate here that goes along with the ones that Traffy and Luffy have. We have a gritted teeth faceplate. We have an open mouth yelling faceplate. And of course, he comes with his own special faceplate for Luffy. And I am absolutely loving the expression on this face. He also comes with his very own stand, which believe me, you will need. This figure is so heavy. Look at this, watch. <laughs> you want an example of how the coat on this figure, look at this. It's weighing him down so much. It's the absolute worst thing ever. Oh, and that face falls off again. So we're definitely going to have to use the stand for this guy. Because look, he's just doing the splits. He's, it's, it's horrendously bad. So let's get the stand out here. Put it together real quick. And let's see. Go into the hole. All right, there we go. These are kind of loose, so hopefully this actually works here. But look at this little claw that it has. Where is that supposed to go on him? Like, I guess you can just like right here, maybe. Let's we'll try something like that. Just kind of keep him from leaning back. I wanted this to pose where he's kind of just like pointing at you. Getting some use out of that hand there. Let's level this out here. Get this going right here. Let's see if we can get the stands for. <laughs> it doesn't want to work for shit. Okay, sorry, I need you to cuss, but that's how flipping annoyed I am. Alright. Um wonder how people out there are hooking this up. Maybe we go like this and go under his cape. Or cloak. I always call these things a cape, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, will it go around his waist? It doesn't even open wide enough to go around his waist. So, I mean, how would you even use this for this figure? Let me try something like this. Uh, that's the best we got, boys and girls. We'll just have to run with that. So there you go, nerds. That's the Eustace kid figure from SH Figure Arts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.